What's up, everyone? I'm making this video because of WWE. Now, my problem is WWE have went downhill since, I guess, the Attitude Era, what they called it. Back in the day when they had TLC and the stream people like the Hardys, Asian Christian, the Dudley Boys, and a bunch of more wrestlers back then that helped pave the way for WWE now. And to me, it... To me, it's obvious that it went downhill. It's not as interesting. They might have an episode every now and then where it's good. Where you be like, huh, I'm going to watch this. But 9 out of 10, they have these corny matches. They dragged the poor commissary and the shit. Just, it don't, it's not as good or interesting or eye-catching as it used to be. I mean, what made me watch it was hearing the rock talk shit, cussing people out, insulting people. Stone Cold pouring semen in people cars. And uh Edge and Christian I mean Edge I mean not Edge and Christian, the Hardy Boys jumping off of tall high ladders. That would make WWE WWE what made it interesting, what made it you must watch it every week. You know what I'm saying? Now it's just like, huh, whatever. And I can be honest with you, the only reason I even watch WWE now is because of one man Brock Lesnar. I mean, I know that's probably sad to say, but that's the only reason I watched it because Brock Lesnar. I mean, I remember him back in the old days, during the era two era before it started going downhill, getting scripted. And after he leave, after he left UFC, it was like, huh, I got a reason to watch it now, Brock Lesnar. I mean, it's been hard since Brock Lesnar been back for me to actually sit there and just watch it like that. I mean, I have missed a lot of episodes. But, like I said, the only reason I actually watch it now is because of Brock Lesnar. I mean, so other than that, it's like Triple H. First of all, let me get on Triple H. The authority? What the hell is that? A wannabe corporation? Dude, it's not in the 90s where, you was, where it was cool to have the corporation in there. Then you, you're a sellout on top of that. You're wearing a suit. I'm like... Then you stop wrestling because of Brock Lesnar beat your ass. So you want to say, now, since I've got the power now, I can do whatever the hell I want to. And what's up with them keep pushing Roman Reigns to be champion? Roman Reigns is garbage. And a person with Samoan heritage, I hate Roman Reigns. I mean, I don't personally hate him. I mean, I hate the character he is, how they keep forcing the belt more his way. Yeah. I mean, it was cool when he was champion for that little... When he won the little Royal Rumble. But, obviously... It's kind of tiring to hear him winning the belt. And him winning the belt. And he don't like Triple H. He got a problem with authority. He keeps attacking Triple H. And on top of that, as I watched Monday's Raw, I was highly disappointed. I mean, to be honest, I know wrestling at certain points and parts are fake. But when you sit there and watch that whole scene that went down with Triple H and Roman Reigns in the garage and parking lot, you could literally tell it was fake. A little kid can tell that was super fake. It's like, y'all not even trying no more. Basically, I sucked all the life out of wrestling where it's like pointless. And... It's like crazy. And let me get on Shane McMahon. Out of all the years you've been in wrestling. I think he last wrestled was like in the early 2000s. Then he did a little comeback with Triple H and Vince McMahon against the Legacy. A little five minute, minute I mean five minute spotlight. Like, oh, no. Then you had your chance to be in WWE. You had your chance to wrestle. You had your chance to run WWE. You ran off into the sunset. You just disappeared. I don't know if you had a drug problem, alcohol problem. I honestly don't know and don't care. But for you to come back now and you're old as shit, literally. You're fatter. You're older. I mean, dude, and you're trying to fight an old person. It's like the day you wasn't even trying no more. They just threw him in the ring. Hey, we're going to put him against Shane McMahon. We're going to put Shane McMahon against Undertaker. And we have seen too much. Of that bullshit through the nineties, and it's like y'all, y'all not trying no more. Yeah, it supposed to be John Cena versus Undertaker at WrestleMania, but you know, 
John Cena on set is injured. But in real life, it's telling everyone the truth. John Cena actually is filming a show for Fox. Something like Stone Cold Show, but a little bit different. I don't know. What's up with these rasters? Hey, we're going to create a show like The Rock. Well, John Cena, I hope you got good luck because I can actually see John Cena doing more TV shows than wrestling. Um, and that's just being truthful. Randy Orton, he's supposed to have been hurt. He's actually, in real life, guest starring on TV shows like NCSI. I mean, NCIS. So, and they really trying to get him to sign to their show because uh, one of the main characters is leaving C NCSI. So, I can actually see John Cena and Randy Orton literally leaving. Because, to be honest, I see good wrestlers, and I'm not a big John Cena fan, but I could say, I could say he kind of impressed me. Especially when he got suplexed all the many times by Brock Lesnar. So see, then I actually earned a little respect for him. I can actually see them doing something but more with their time and better with their talent than just being wrestling and being bullshit and, and scripted and all that poor scripted and wrestling and bullshit. And I understand that part of little kids that part watching the video, and I'm sorry to say it. But it's being true. I mean, Randy Orton, yeah, he can, he need to go ahead and just say forget this and so is John Cena. And and let that be. I mean, because wrestling is not as fun as it was when you was a kid. It's not as fun as it was in the early 2000s. It's literally have gotten corny. And this comes from a person that actually used to want to be a wrestler. And to tell you the truth, WWE is literally just corny. I mean, they should have just let WCW be WCW because WCW was more better. It was filmed here. In, I mean, it was literally here. In Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, every week. This is the home city for it. But, you know, they had their screw ups and they will lead WWE to take over and WWE became just over. We're going to be corny. And AJ Styles. Why? And why would you want AJ Styles? Yeah, he's from Cobb County, Georgia. Yeah, he still got a little fight at home. But the thing about AJ Styles is there was a reason why he left TNA. I mean, it was already fun that you had his manager, Ric Flair, his ex-manager there. Now you bring AJ Styles into it. He just left Ring of Honor, I think. And what's up with that? I never knew that was a Ring of Honor. Till, till 2014, why I was bored middle of the night and found out there was a wrestling shit called Ring of Honor. I mean, Honor. And I'm like, oh my God. Really, this is like ECW. You remember when you was a kid? I don't know how it was in other states, but when you was a kid in Georgia, you never heard of ECW unless you stayed up late at night, literally at about 2 or 3 in the morning, and it came on. Watching crowds hitting wrestlers with weapons, and that was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> These people are, are literally a stream. But, yeah, I got to say it. I mean, wrestling went downhill, and honestly, you can tell they are kind of bored. They run out of ideas, and because of that, I literally say they should go ahead and let, like, they should go back to the old ways to be more interesting, more eye-catching. I mean, honestly, who want to see Undertaker and Shane at men fight? Really? I mean, yeah, Shane O'Mac, dude that actually came out dancing, jumping off high stuff. But it's like that era's past. We don't want to see that no more. Uh, another thing with WWE, and I have said it many times before, Undertaker need to go ahead and retire. I mean, Steam popped up, yes, years later, as a WCW, many years later. Oh, my goodness. But at least Steam actually did a couple of good matches, and Steam actually decided, hey, you know what? Enough is enough. I'm going to go ahead and retire. Go ahead and put him in the Hall of Fame. Thing is... Sting is older than Undertaker. Sting is in better shape than Undertaker. Now, I don't know what kind of debts Undertaker put himself in, but Undertaker need to go ahead and retire. Because it's sad when you got a dude that's older than you and better shape than you retiring before you are. I mean, you're in worse condition than you is. I mean, 
Sting is in better health and better shape than Undertaker, but he decided I'm going to go ahead and retire. Now, in my book, Undertaker is too damn old. And Undertaker need to actually go ahead and retire. And not just Undertaker, the big show. Dude, give it up, big guy. You're not interesting. You're not fun. You're not cool as you used to be. Go ahead and give it up. Kane, please retire. Please. I'm tired of watching you fight. You're too old. You're too slow. Dude, find something else to do with your life. Then wrestle because give it up. It's not you no more. Like I already said, Taker. Big Mark Henry. You have been in there since the 90s. The nation of domination. He need to go ahead and retire. He's huger than he ever was. I'm glad he finally decided to go bald and get that mess off his head with that big old ball spot there. But he need to go ahead and retire. And to tell you the truth, I actually thought he was retired until he just popped back up every now and then. I'm like, wow. Why, Mark? Why? No. Ah. No one else need to actually literally retire and stay retired. The Rock. I'm tired of him popping up every now and then. Dude, retire, dude. You suck now. You literally suck. You pop up every now and then, think people respect you, do little title matches. As so soon you get your butt kicked, you want to run back to Hollywood. I'm tired of that. Uh, Triple H, please stay retired. Please. I'm tired of watching you come to the ring all flabbiness and all this, thinking you're dude from back in the days. Everybody knew you took steroids because back in the days, in the 90s, you was actually small, dude. Yes. Wearing your little pants down to the ring. So the 2000 hits, you want to pop steroids like it's cool. Wear tights and come out there with your muscles like it was cool. Now it's obvious you've been on steroids, homeboy. Give it up. Uh, who else should go ahead and retire? Rey Mysterio. I honestly thought you had the balls in D.C. to go ahead and retire. But no, you decided I'm going to leave WWE and go to Lucha Wrestling. Lucha Underground Wrestling, whatever they call it. Retire, Ray. Retired. You're old, dude. Give it up. I guarantee if Eddie Guerrero was alive, who one of the best Hispanic wrestlers of all time, was alive, he would have told you to retire years ago. <laughs> I'm glad Chavo decided he's going to retire because he was garbage. Um, who else need to retire? Rick Flair actually need to go sit down somewhere. I'm tired of seeing you, period, dude. I had enough of you through the 90s when you was part of the Four Horsemen. Then the flu with you and Hulk Hogan going on. Then you come to WWE and you're still popping up there. Then you left WWE. Go to TNA and now you're back in WWE. Go somewhere and sit down. I'm tired of looking at you, man. I'm honestly, every time I see you, dude, I want to puke. Then you're coming out there with your daughter doing that little weird dance. Come on, man. Give it up. Wrestling is not for you, dude. At all. I mean, no, period. It's not for him at all. Stephanie, man. Holy shit, she need to go sit down, too. I mean, I'm tired of looking at that witch in the face. Literally, I'm tired. It's like every time I see her, my eyes hurt. Then it make it so bad. I had a thing for Stephanie McMahon when I was a little bit younger, when she had the bigger boobs, even though the boobs were implants. But she wasn't the hottest Trish Stratus, who I believe could have lasted a couple, little bit longer, but oh well. And another issue I have with WWE is China. That you do not want to socialize with China because she's a porn star. Hmm. Really? But you have no problem with guest starring X Pac, who actually was a porn star at one point too. Think about that. So basically you're being hypocritical and judgmental. Which actually lets you know it's actually other it's more to it than just her being a porn star because Triple H did date China. Triple H left China for Stephanie McMahon in real life, yes. So that's kind of make you wonder, like, what's really going on? Because China was a good, talented wrestler as well. She was up there with Jacqueline and Trish Stratus. And honestly, in my book, I feel like she deserved to be in the Hall of Fame. Yes, she have held male t man titles just like Jacqueline. Yes, she actually have beaten dudes. Yes, she was a good wrestler. She was a powerful female wrestler. She was literally a bodybuilder. And my thing is... You want to take all that away because she's a porn star. No, you can't because why? You actually more to that story than what they actually let actually tell people. Honestly. I mean, because X-Pac was a porn star too. And guess what? He still pops up every now and then with WWE. So it's like, 
what's really going on. I mean, what's really going on. And uh, a couple of WWE wrestlers actually have did porn movies, and they still popped up in WWE. WWE didn't have a problem with that. So it's just letting you know they actually have an issue with China, and it's more than her being a porn star, to be honest with you. And that's just being real with you. It actually is more to, her, more to it than her just being a porn star. They actually probably got an issue with her because of this or that. Who knows? But don't believe that, oh, because she's a porn star, she's not going to the Hall of Fame because of a porn star. No, because they actually have many people that have did porn and they have been fine with They have put in a Hall of Fame. Again, like I said, S-Pop still pop up. Mickey Jane did porn while she was on a WWE contract. They had no problem with that. So there's a lot of people out there that have done porn in the WWE business that they had no problem with. So they just let you know they got a major issue. Something going on between them, China and WWE, and they not telling people. They just want to keep saying, oh, it's porn. No, no. Now, don't believe that bullshit for nothing. Uh, see, that's about it. The Hall of Fame thing, I'm all right with it. I mean, they put Sting in there. Big Boss Man. I mean, they should have been did that, even though I was never a Big Boss Man fan. Godfather. Yeah, I can understand that. Hey, whatever happened to D'Lo Brown? Why he ain't in there? I mean, he had his little moment. He bobbed his little head around. That's with the real deal. <laughs> um... So, yeah, I mean, might as well put the whole nation in there. Might as well put the Rock and Farouk. I mean, Farouk is already in there. Might as well put the Rock and D'Lo Brown in there and Mark Henry. I mean, come on. Godfather and Farouk is already in there. Throw them three in there, too. And call it done deal. Might as well put Rock in the Hall of Fame now. Because, honestly, he's not wrestling. It's pointless. Uh, that should throw Goldberg in there. I mean, come on. Goldberg was a good beast. I mean, he was a beast. Scott Steiner, I can see him being in there. I mean, but anyway, they naming all these people and this and that, and they name. And I hate how they just put people in the Hall of Fame that you never heard of. That should have been the first people they put in there. People that they know for a fact you ain't never heard of. They always gotta add that one people or group that you ain't never heard of that you ain't never seen wrestling in your era, and that's like, why? Who is this? Who who is this? Why is they so good and this and that? It's, it's ridiculous. Booker T brother should be in there. I mean, he was a good wrestler at one point in time. But hey. But anyway, that's that's the end of this video. And I uh, hope you guys like. Hope you subscribe. Please leave your comments and tell me what you think. And uh, stay tuned for part two because this is part one. So again, please, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please leave your comments and opinions and let me know what you guys honestly think. Until next time.